Hey, how's it going? I'm the Card Sharp. Thanks for tuning in to a new episode of Quick Play. We are going to be getting into the Little Nightmares Part 2 demo. I know nothing about this game or the story. This is my introduction into the Little Nightmares series, so I'm going to be completely brand new. Uh, I'm playing this game on uh, PlayStation 4. This demo is also available for Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, the next-gen consoles, and PC through Steam or GOG. Is it GOG? Is it pronounced GOG or GOG.com? I've always pronounced it as GOG. Anyway, this game is due to be released February 21st of this year. Before we begin, please give my video a like and subscribe for more Quick Play content. The support really does help my channel here on YouTube. Alright guys, let's get into this. Little Nightmares 2, the demo. So our little dude has a bag over his head. Again, I'm not sure why, but I'm sure that's not important for this demo. I think this is more of giving players a small taste of what the gameplay is about. I'm actually really excited to play this because I've heard a lot of good things about the first. I've seen gameplays, and based on what I've seen, it's just really not my type of game, which is why I never really got into it. Call it as a sort of judging a book by its cover kind of thing. Um, and now I, you know, get to test it out, or at least the second part, and, you know, probably prove me wrong. Who knows? Alright, let's get a lay of the controls. Let's see. L1 is crouch. I have to press and hold to crouch. And triangle is to call out. Hi! Uh, okay. Square is run. X is jump, and circle is, I don't know. Oh, I see. L2 and L1 are both crouch. Got it. Oh, what is this? What kind of carcass is that? Oh. Oh, okay. No, we don't want to mess with that. Um... I think we have to... I think we have to run and jump. And okay, let's get back here. Okay. Yes, gotcha. There's a box here. Oh, I see. R2 is to climb. Got it. Okay. gate. How do I open? Hold R2 and move left to drag. Got it. Uh-huh. Okay. Ooh. I really like the side-scrolling. I like that. It's really reminiscent of the 8-bit uh, era. The 8 and the 16-bit era. Somebody's shoe. Oh, and a bag full of dead bodies. No, thank you. Gosh. Okay. Yeah, let's leave them alone. Oh, let's jump and... Okay, jump and R2. Got you. I really hope I don't have to do anything with that because I just completely skipped that part. It's okay. All right. Let's be careful here. Ooh. I wonder if he has a, some sort of health or life meter. Hello. There's a carcass up ahead. 
Oh, I see what this is. There's a rope trap here. You walk over it and the box falls on you, trapping you inside. Okay. Can we go around it? No. Okay, so we'll just have to run and jump. Ugh. There we go. Looks like this guy wasn't so lucky. I'm sorry, fella. Oh, alright. What do we have here? Alright, so... Um, I don't know. Is that a birdhouse right there up on the tree? I see this. Let's see. Okay. At first it looks like something that would swing towards me, towards the screen. I think that happens if we tip this over, but then again this this crate isn't uh, attached to to it. Okay. Can you climb it? No. It's simply just too high. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. Push objects. Oh, I see. Okay, let's get on this side. And can we pull it? Yeah. I like how not only is it um, side-scrolling, but there's a three-dimensional aspect to it. That's cool. He wasn't pushing it. Oh, I see. You gotta still hold the R2. There you go. There you go. Okay. Alright, we're in business. Ugh! Oh my gosh! Run, 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 run! Oh! I was so close. It hit me on the head and knocked me out. All right. So it gets stopped by the tree up ahead. Not this one, but this one right here. Oh, oh, shit. I was just unlucky and was here and it knocked me <laughs> out. Dang. Okay, all right. That gives me uh, Indiana Jones vibes. You know, that big rock that was uh, after him. All right, so what do we got going on here? I see a rope over here. I think I know what to do. Hold on. Ooh, okay. All right, I won't be able to reach the ledges here because they're just too high. I see. This is too high too. All right. Um, I did see this hollowed log. I think we'll have to climb this up. Yeah. All right. And then... I guess maybe run, jump, and hold on to the rope. There we go. So you gotta hold down R2 to grab onto objects as well. And maybe... Okay. I didn't read the the notification there. Didn't get the chance to. Oh, I see. I think this is on a counterweight. Because that box in the background is going up. Yeah, it is. Alright. I really like these obstacles. I like how you have to figure them out. And, you know, so far they've been easy. I'm sure we'll encounter d more difficult ones. Oh uh, yeah, this is no simple run and jump, that's for sure. There's no rope. Okay, maybe... We'll have to go down here and push this box. Nah, it's too big though. 
Yeah, that's too big. Too heavy. How about here? Oh, what is that? Is that a dead bug? Or is that just bark? Oh. Oh, it's a grave site. Can we grab the shovel? No? Okay. I, um... I don't think we can do anything here. Hey! Hey! Over here! Oh, wait a minute. Can we... No, he's not doing anything. Yeah, I press R2 and he's not doing anything. Okay, we'll have to go back out then. Or can you just climb this? Oh, <laughs> you can, okay. It was that simple. I wonder what that part was all about. Maybe it's just, I don't know, an, an Easter egg of some sort? I couldn't grab the shovel, so there was nothing there. Okay. Oh. Are you going to give me a hard time, Mr. Crow? Nope, I guess not. More shoes. Oh, wait a minute. I see a rope. Ooh, okay. Um. Let's see. Can we go around? I think this trap either falls straight down or swings towards me this way. And to set it off, I think you have to walk through that rope. Okay, yeah, it wasn't going to be that easy. Game's like, yeah, nope. Nice try, but no cigar. Can't climb into anything. All right. Um, hold R2 to grab objects. Oh, maybe pull the rope? No. Wait a minute. I went through it. Oh! <laughs> oh, I see. It was a net. It was a weighted net. I get it now. That's why we have the shoes here. Alright, I'm sorry, Mr. Crow. But, while carrying an object, press X to throw. Ah, okay. So can you... Oh, you can't climb over things when you're carrying an object. That's... Duh. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> That's why they give you two pairs. You can't control how hard or how far he throws, so... I think maybe here is good. Oh, no. X. Oh, come on. I don't want to waste these shoes, but... There we go. Um, maybe right over here. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go get these shoes, okay? Before I waste all four. There we go. Alright. So, this undisturbed patch of grass, or greenery, is now making me nervous. <laughs> uh, I think run up and jump. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's forge on ahead. All right, I see more undisturbed patches of grass. We have, oh, I see it. It's a, it's a bear trap. Look, there's a carcass in the middle of this bear trap. There's another one. 
And there's one that's set off. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I gotcha. This one's not so bad. You just have to walk around them. Here's one. Can we grab the stick? Or, oh, maybe you have to open up the trap first. Nope, we're good. Okay. Ugh! <laughs> You're not that smart! Woo! Oh! oh, oh. This whole area is an undisturbed patch of greenery. Pretty sure we have to grab this stick. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is just gonna be a guess. But you can see the line where there's undisturbed patch of green and where it's all fluffed up. I don't know a better word to use other than fluffed up, but you, you can definitely tell the difference, right? Oh, okay. You can even move them out of the way. I see. Oh, I see one right here. Oh my goodness. Ah, okay, that set off the, all the other ones. That really wasn't effective as a person's setting off or putting all those bear traps. You don't want to set one and have others close by to where they will be set off when one of them is set off. Because if there are multiple prey that you want to catch, then you won't be able to catch them. Or maybe you could. Wait, is that it? Oh, the stick is gone now. Okay, so maybe just run and jump. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's why they have these pine cones conveniently set. There's one right there, right by the rock. <laughs> Let's grab another one of these. Wait a minute. There's one right here. I see it. Oh, jeez. There's one at the end of the log. But we can't go on the log. Oh, there's one right here. Right there. That was the only one. Um, I want to set this one off. There we go. See, even though there's an empty space there, I still wanted to do that. I don't know what I'm talking about. That's cool that we can see uh, um, up ahead and uh, behind us. Okay. Alrighty. Oh no, as if the outside wasn't dangerous enough, we're going to have to go into a house. Okay. Pretty sure we can't reach that, yeah, we're too small. Now am I normal sized and we're just living in a world of giants, or we're living amongst normal height people and I'm just tiny like an elf oh dang okay somebody lives here that's for sure obviously because of the T oh I hit my head <laughs> all right maybe we oh I was just gonna say maybe we don't want to make any noise all right, little dude. Okay. Oh. Gives off the Resident Evil 7 vibes. What do we have here? OK. 
Okay. What's that? Equip collected hats in the pause menu. Hats. Yeah! Oh, cool! There you go. I want to see your face. Now I'm Davy Crockett. Davy Crockett. I'm guessing this is the front door. Yeah. How about boots? Can we collect boots? <laughs> we can pick them up. <laughs> Ugh, you, there's your stinky shoe. Okay. Uh, I see the door that's open over there in the background, but I want to check this place out first. Oh, there's... Oh! There's somebody right there. Okay, I don't think this is actually cut out. I'm sure there's a wall here, but it's just removed for the sake of being able to see inside scrolling way. Is that guy dead? I mean, he's sitting down. Okay, let's run over here. Oh no. Why do we have to go down to the basement? It's a ball of rubber band. Can't pick it up though. Oh, hi! Hello. Knock knock. Uh. Do you not want a friend? I don't think he wants to play. He's got his little jukebox there. Can we take this? <laughs> I like the animation, that's so cool. <laughs> okay, that's not gonna work. Alright, well he doesn't want to play. He's the same size as I am though. Does that account for anything? Does that mean anything? What about the axe? Can we get the axe? Oh, yes we can. Hold on. Can we go up this? We can. I want to see if there's something else to collect. I want to collect more hats. Yes, go up. Come on, you can make it, dude. You can make it. Oh, come on. No. Nope. Guess not. Not strong enough. How about here? No. Nope. So I I'm guessing we take this axe and break down that door. <laughs> if he doesn't want to play, I'll make you play with me. I've got an axe. Don't mess with me. <laughs> Here's Johnny! <laughs> Open the door! Hey. <laughs> he goes in and breaks part of the door using an axe like freaking Jason Voorhees. And next thing he says is... <laughs> Hi! <laughs> That's really maniac-like. Open the door! Door! I want to play with you. <laughs> hey, I'm so I'm sorry. I'm kidding. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not evil. Come here. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Yeah, I guess. Now, was he trapped in here? Locked in here? Because I do see he's got uh, some 
some sort of bedding laid out under the table. And uh, he's been drawing on the walls. I can see that. Oh, shoot. Let's go bring this to him. Where'd he go? Oh, he went upstairs. Hey, take your little jukebox. Oh, we can't go up the stairs with this. No. Okay. Let's go after him. Hey, wait for me. I just want to play. Oh. There's something over here. Okay. Alright. Now, I know we have to go chase him, but don't worry. I'll, I'll go chase him. Oh, okay. So this door... Oh! just wants to suddenly open are these oh my gosh what's going on with you guys yo uh you all should get that looked at by a doctor go go up go up before these guys come alive i don't know maybe it's something they ate that really does give me resident evil 7 vibes hey what are you oh is that the attic it's okay yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to pull that down by yourself. Let me help. I can't move. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Ah. Teamwork. 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 What is that? Did that family come alive? Okay, let's go up. There's a lock on that door, so I don't think we're supposed to oh, go over there. Come on, go, 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 go. This is uh, beginning to look a lot like Christmas. No, like a horror movie, you know? In horror movies, the victims always go up. If they're in a house, they always go up. They don't go out the window, out the door. They always go up to the next floor up until they're on the roof. You know, just like Halloween 4. <laughs> okay, there's nothing here. Over here. Let's come over here. Oh, okay, I see. Here. Let's go back over here. You'll have to help me. We're going to have to push this. <clears throat> Come on, push, push. There you go. Teamwork. You see, with two, we can get more done, right? I see a key. Is that key for the lock downstairs? Probably. Oh, and I see... Uh We've got to get a, a, a crank, a handle. Got it. Oh, I see. I got you. Nah, good thinking. Good thinking. Teamwork. All right. Just stay there. I'll be back in a moment. Oh, I see that blade over there. I don't like it. Ooh! Yeah. Well, there's the crank that I was talking about. Somebody's holding it. Is she asleep? Or is she taking a nap? Um, hi. Hello. I want to look around first. Ooh, you can go back here. Hi. Step on your toes! Ugh. Hi, can I buy this? I'll give it back, I promise. Ugh! Oh my gosh! This really does give me Resident Evil 7 vibes. There's a part in the game, of Resident Evil 7, where you have to crank you know, a little girl's arm off, but she is already dead. Alright. Here you go. Oh, watch out! Watch out! Oh, God, I'm sorry. 
even though it's 3D, I really don't have a sense of space or, you know, I don't have a lot of spatial sense. <laughs> I don't know, because I'm looking at it from a 2D perspective. Do you want help? What do you want me to do? I can't grab onto it. Huh? What do you want me to do here? Oh! That's what- okay. Okay, okay. So, do I jump off? Oh, I got it. Oh, no. There we go. Ah, okay. I thought I had to hold on to the key and swing myself off of the hook. Can you grab it? Okay. So we now have to find a way out of here. I'm guessing that's for the lock. Can we grab onto these dead bodies? I see a dead body here. Or maybe open this? Yeah, okay, that's cool. Can we open this? Okay, I guess there'd be no need to, right? You okay? All right, let's go. I want to grab more hats. Uh, is this the only hat that you can find in the demo, or are there more? Hey, what about this mask? No. Okay, let's go. Let's go downstairs. Another shoe. Ugh. Ooh. I know this is just for shits and giggles. But I wanna try to get Yeah. <laughs> Can't open that. Then let's see what's over here. Okay, the family's still there. Alright. Alright. No more playing around. Let's go. Oh, we're outside, okay. So when does this take place? Because outhouses are no longer a thing. Yeah, that was way back, I think, late 1800s? Early 1900s? Over 100 years ago when plumbing was not a thing inside of the houses. They thought that it was unsanitary to have a location inside your house where you could go poo poo. Oh! Whoever lives here is the one setting those traps. But they're dead. I don't know. Wait a minute. I think we pushed this box. Yeah. Here, come help me with this. Yeah, I see the bear traps. What an idiot, too. He set the bear traps and put them there. Is now, is that foreshadowing? Do we have to be careful in this area that, uh, we don't knock them down and hurt ourselves? Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh. So, this little kid is like my shadow. He'll go where I go. There you go. Oh. Laundry. Oh, it's not la- Oh, it's skin! It's animal skin! Oh, look at that. That's so cute. We're holding hands. All right, come on, little dude. What is that? Oh, he's skinning. Oh, that's gross. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to press and hold down R2 to hold his hand. Oh gosh. Oh shit. Oh! Oh! No! No! How do you open this? Ah! 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 No! Ooh. Cool! He just hit us with the butt of his freaking rifle. 
Okay. Hold on. It looked like we had to open that doggy door type trap thingy majig. No jumping though. You'll hear that. Alright. Oh, push. He's gonna hear that. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, gosh. Like a slot. Oh, shit. Oh, my gosh. Oh, behind this box. Oh, shit. Right here, right here, right here. Oh, go, 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 Power Rangers. Under here, under here. He's got a bag over his head. This Friday the 13th part 2 Jason ass looking mofo. Oh no. Please don't check under here. You want to hold hands now? Oh, hold on. How much you want to make a bet he's going to turn to his right? Oh! Jeez! Nice. Yeah, if you would have gotten off your ass and mowed your lawn, we would probably be seen by now, huh? Oh, I see a hole. I'll wait for him to turn to the right. And then after that, we'll run. Run! Go, 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 go! Oh, I thought he died! That was it! Thank you for playing. Pre-order now. Wow. I actually really enjoyed that. I like how you uh, have to solve the the traps in order for you to get from obstacle to obstacle I noticed that there are some traps that are meant are set up in a way that are meant for you to set off first and die before figuring out how to go around them or disable them I'm actually thinking of pre-ordering this and featuring it as a let's play I really really enjoy that it's it has that sort of uh, Indiana Jones theme to it again as uh, an adventurer and you figure out your obstacle by solving out the puzzles up ahead although um, if I were to feature this as a let's play I think it would make more sense if I uh, played the first one so I'll probably have to look into the first in, into part one first before uh, I make any decisions probably feature that as a quick play series and then move on to this if anything I'll probably just get this, Little Nightmares 2, on my own and, and play it on my own. Um, or if I have to play them in sequence, 1 and 2, I'll do that. But in any case, uh, I really want to think about getting uh, Little Nightmares 2 because I really enjoyed this. If you're in the same boat as I am and know nothing about uh, the Little Nightmares series, now is your chance to try out for free the demo to the second one. And as you saw, you don't really need to know the story. Because the demo, as I said in the beginning, is more of uh, a chance to give you a, a taste of what the gameplay is all about. Again, this demo is available for PS4, Xbox One, a Nintendo Switch, the new gaming consoles, and PC through Steam and GOG. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. It means a lot to me. Give this video a like and subscribe for more quick play content. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later!